Hi there Cancerians, thanks so much for tuning in. I'm Astro Girl and we're looking at August 21st through August 27 and of course the big news this week is the total solar eclipse that's happening in Leo, your second house of money, self-worth and self-esteem and do you know where you're going to be on August 21st when it happens? If you're in the US it's going to be visible across the entire continental United States, but it's not a good idea to look at it directly, Cancerians. I would watch it on the news. I think it's going to be like the moon landing. It's getting a lot of publicity here, that's for sure. I'm in Los Angeles, and Amazon made the mistake of selling eclipse glasses for people to look at the eclipse through, and of course they're not guaranteed to stop you from getting eyesight damage, so they've had to return everybody's money. So. It's a money-making thing, of course. It's America. The influence period of a solar eclipse traditionally lasts for one year. Another clue to what this eclipse means for the US is that it's going to emphasize that Leo fiery, charismatic leadership that is strong, well-dominant, and full of self-confidence. And on the other hand, Leo can also be arrogant, over-controlling, resistant to change. Now, who does that sound like? That sounds like President Donald Trump who happens to be a Gemini, but with Leo rising. And the rising sign is really how you live your life, how you treat other people, how other people see you. And I see him more as a Leo. He's got that red hair, red face, and looks like, to me, uh, he should be a circus tamer. You know, in the, in the middle of the ring, snapping the whip. That's what he looks like to me with a top hat on. I can't look at him without thinking that. So I find him very much like a Leo, and when I found out he was Leo rising, it all made sense. So this, this total solar eclipse couldn't come at a better time if you are an astrologer. People are predicting that he's going to die. People are predicting that he's going to be impeached. Now, it's not going to happen on Monday. We've got a year for these results to last. But I, I am amazed at what people are predicting, and whether any of it comes true, we shall see. But don't forget Mercury's retrograde as well, just to throw more hot oil on what is going on. In the eclipse chart, the only planet that the Sun Moon can see during this eclipse is Uranus, which is in Aries, your 10th house of career. And Uranus promotes progressive or revolutionary change. All these clues lead to the idea that this eclipse has something important to say to Americans about our collective pride and possibly different position for the United States as a leader in the global community moving forward. This eclipse also belongs to the Saros series, 145, which comes with a positive note. So it is positive, even though right now it doesn't seem there's much positive going on in America. What with the Charleston riots last weekend, where one person died and 19 people were injured when the white supremacists held a rally, which, you know, it's, it's unfathomable that these things still continue to happen in 2017, but they do. Now, a productive Mars trine on Tuesday opens the door for the second time this year for you to get a lot done. Keep busy, stay focused, keeping in mind that Mercury is retrograde and for you, Mercury's retrograde in your third house of communication, siblings, and short trips. So how you communicate with people that you are related to or maybe the people you see as feel like cousins or friends that are like your family. Later on, the sun shifts into Virgo, the same part of your chart, and Venus moves into Leo. So there's a lot happening in Leo and Virgo right now your second house and your third house. So once again, it's all about the eclipse. You're ruled by the moon. This should be a very interesting week indeed. Have a great week.